Hello friends, my name is Kishan. Welcome to in this video tutorial. In Spring, you can either implement initializing bin and disposable bin interface or specify the init method and destroy method in bin configuration file for the initialization and destruction callback function. And these things already we had seen in couple of videos. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use annotations like at the rate post construct and at the rate pre destroy to do the same thing. Uh, post construct at the rate post construct and at the rate pre destroy these two annotations belongs from the JSR 250 annotations. JSR stands for the Java specification request. It's a community who develop uh, annotations and they give the some name like JSR 250, JSR 30C3, JSR 349 etc. So let's go ahead and create a Java project. So new Java project I would give a spring bean life cycle using Click on next, click on finish. Let's add a spin dependency charts. Go to the configure build path, select libraries, add libraries, user library, and I have already created user library. So select this one, click on the OK. So all spring data charts I have added. Uh, now a uh, couple of files I'm going to copy from my previous example like model class I'm going to copy from here uh, client program also I'm going to copy from here and let's copy bean.xml file as well so let me explain this example which I had created previous example so here we had a specified default init method method name I have given init and default destroy method and method name is destroy and and in my bean class I have implemented sorry I have implemented I have implemented init and destroy method and client program so if I run this application then I am successfully able to call the init and destroy method if I remove this configuration from XML file And if I run the client program, then init and destroy method not getting called. So, so in this example, this callback method we are going to implement using annotations. So init method you need to annotate. Just create a method with like public void return type must be void give the method name anything whatever you want and annotate this method as a post construct and annotate the destroy method as a at the rate pre destroy sorry pre destroy guys these annotations does not belong from the spring these annotations this this is the uh, belongs from the jdk itself now uh, annotations are not enabled by default in a spring so to enable these annotations you need to register one bean post processor and that bean name is called 
win number is called common annotation win post processor so let's press control shift t and search for the sorry common bin control shift t common bin post processor so click in the, this arrow and copy this bin as a qualified name and register here that's it so by this way you can enable annotations now if i run this application then look at here so we are successfully able to call the init and destroy method now in this xml file we have enabled bean processor to make in uh, uh, to enable annotations there is second approach as well so instead of registering common annotation bean processor you can enable annotation by specifying a tag context colon annotation config this tag will add. make sure that you have a context name space in xml doc type then you will get this one by this way also you can enable annotations if i run it then we are successfully able to call the init and destroy method so this is the third approach i have shown you through which you can implement uh, init and destroy method so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys so if you like this video then please click on the like button or you can provide the your valuable comments as well so see you in next video tutorial thank you guys